I say hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today I'm going to open the 8th of December for my Christmas calendar package, which I bought from Want to Sell Retro. The link is right here. I made these. I'm going to show you later what I'm going to use this for. However, there is a disclaimer. If you also bought this uh, package calendar, uh, I would recommend you wait to after the 24th uh, December watching these videos because I do not want to ruin your experience for figuring out what's in these packages. However, you, we all know it is games from about the 90s and onwards from there. So, um, I am one of those who takes his time actually unpacking these presents or these packages because per people have been spending time packing these packaging thing. Uh, that's a mouthful for there. Uh, yeah. um, they have spent time actually packaged uh, or wrapping these uh, jewel cases. So why not give them that respect and then uh, spend some extra time actually doing a fancy opening. The reason also is because once I do this, I kind of get an idea oh, uh, here. Already there, I'm was hmm, I'm wondering what this is, but from my guess is when I do like this, it sounds like it's uh, something tower or what's the name of the game? I can tower something. T I can't remember the name now, uh, but nonetheless, let's see what it is. Heimdall two. I don't know that game. Let's see, what else is there? There's a vinyl, good godness from Mars. Don't know that game either. There's Stellar Ex Explorer. Don't know that game either. Bebop Do. Mm, the name does ring a bell. There's Halloween Harry. That name also ring a bell. But the Heimdall number volume two, I don't know either. From what I guess, it's probably a ad somewhat adventure game. Who knows? I'm actually after after this video, I'm actually gonna go on YouTube and actually see what if anyone else has been playing this game to see how it is. Um, and as I did in the other games, I am going to unwrap it from the so-called fully plastic here if it allows me to do it okay. and there it is and of course uh, do not throw this in your normal garbage you throw it in the um, Plastic recycle. There, there is the recycle stations in Denmark. Specifically, they have uh, containers where you put this kind of plastic. Don't fall down. So, as always, as I did with the other ones, I open the so-called uh, disc or jewel case. Do the fancy trick. And then I can take out the so-called uh, back cover. Because these are going to be thrown out as well. In the pla hard, hard plastic recycles. Because I'm going to put these games uh, into uh, plastic sleeves. Mainly to protect them also. Uh, but also to downsize my collection. Not downsize in volume how many I have but mainly in the physical size, how much it takes. Um, plus it also protects the games. And of course I am one who take care of my own games. Oh, my nose is scratching once again. So I'm of course, I'm gonna put in the disc. And I'm gonna put in the front cover. So as mentioned earlier, um, I made these 
and I'm gonna put that one in here as well in the sleeve which means in a few months from now when I go downstairs and say oh, I want to play an old game and I find this maybe and I forgot where did I get this then I can always see where I got it from so that's one is gonna be put in here as well and then it takes up less space on my shelf and as I said, uh, mentioned earlier in previous videos, uh, I will make a box between Christmas and New Year's that's gonna be containing all my uh, disc, ga disc game like this that were in jewel cases. Um, I'm in the process of basically putting my entire movie DVD collection plus my jewel case uh, games and PC games and Xbox and all that into uh, containers, plastic containers like these, and I do think these are recycled recycle plastic. So that was actually uh, again a surprise were to find uh, more games I haven't heard about, specifically the Heimdale. It actually looks interesting. Uh, for the first thing, first thing I think about is uh, it looks like Diablo on the picture here. Um, but with a b more, more, much more rough uh, graphic. Um, so, so uh, if you have bought this uh, Christmas calendar package also, um, and you watched it after the 24th of December, uh, please leave comments below and tell tell me what you got for for your uh, Christmas calendar this uh, day of the 8th of December. Because I'm actually curious, because I, I, I'm curious, the one thing I'm curious about, that's a lot of curious in a very short time, um, is if everyone gets the same, the same day uh, that have bought this uh, Christmas calendar, or if he, he mixed up uh, the, the games uh, for each of the packages he made, um, that's what I'm mostly curious, curious about. Uh, I'm not. I'm not actually wondering. He, I think he did. He did that. But nonetheless, if you got a different game, uh, please leave it in the comments below. I want to know. So that's it for the eighth of December. So I thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow.